with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, our latest low pressure system tracking through the region last night brought a couple of sprinkles to Minnesota, kept the sky gray today, but the low's only halfway through our region, so there's still a chance for precip tonight for Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula, and it'll be the cool sector of the low. So, folks in northwestern Wisconsin do have a trace to an inch possible of sticking by tomorrow morning and into the snow belt, maybe one to three inches. And that's, of course, if our mix turns out to be more snow than rain. It could go the other way. Just be ready if you have to commute in Wisconsin or the UP. It may be a little bit slippery tonight through early tomorrow morning. And then we all start to improve condition-wise by tomorrow afternoon. Current conditions at the airport in Duluth, 36 degrees, that's what we have, and a mostly cloudy sky building in again. Northerly wind, it's going seven miles per hour, relative humidity 64%, and our current temperatures, well, thanks to the cool sector of the low starting to come across, we're already going down from the daytime high of 38. It's only 35 International Falls right now then, 33 Hibbing, hair warmer Grand Rapids, uh, mid to upper 30s for a lot of places on the North Shore, 36 Moose Lake. Now into Wisconsin where some of that warm front is, that led the low is still lingering here. We're still looking at 42 in Hayward and 40 in Watersmead, but things will cool there a little bit as well. And by overnight tonight here, places like International Falls could drop into the teens for the overnight low temperatures, then rebounding fairly well tomorrow. And by Monday, if we keep our fingers crossed, maybe 50 degrees will be achieved. Doppler map right now shows clouds still sticking to the sky in northern Minnesota, even though I think the bulk of our precip chances pass by. It will linger tonight through tomorrow, though, for Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula. It's rain right now, but we are starting to see a bit of a mix form up, and that's what could strike folks in the snow belt here, especially tonight, again, to the tune of one to three inches here for the South Shore. And then northwestern parts of Wisconsin here, maybe a trace to an inch. Now, taking a look at what's happening tonight, yeah, because we're riding the boundary between that cold front here, it's folks in Wisconsin and Michigan get the chance for the mix, while it should be cloudy and dry in Minnesota. But like I mentioned, things are going to start to change up by tomorrow afternoon. High pressure should bring back sunshine. If not fully on Thursday, we'll really get smacked with it come Friday. Friday should be mostly sunny. In turn, by Saturday, fresh low pressure system brings back a chance for a rain and snow mix to all zones. Probably just light stuff, though. Forecast here tonight, Minnesota-wise, the temperatures will go from 16 inland to 28 by the lake, mostly cloudy sky. Into Wisconsin and Michigan, the low temps there run 25 to 28 degrees, and the rain and snow mix is indeed possible for all zones in that part of our region. But for tomorrow, even there, in the afternoon, partly sunny skies should return thanks to the higher pressure and high temps will nudge upwards a bit, 38 to 43 degrees, normal's around 37 or 38 degrees, so we're beating it for the most part on that side of the border. And in Minnesota, well, 37 to 42 is fairly close, although cooler by the lake, low 30s there. Partly sunny on Thursday, give way to clear to partly cloudy, mostly sunny conditions on Friday, then a mix is possible Saturday. Upper 40 Sunday, Tony, Kristen, 50 for Monday and probably for Tuesday as well, but perhaps already slipping back a touch by next Wednesday when we get a chance mm. for some rain showers coming yeah. across. I think with everything going on, sunshine in 50 is probably a welcome sight for a lot of people in the region. You know, yeah. I think you're right, Tony. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Mm -hmm.